Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have salivary glands. So this topic will be dealt in few sessions. So this session is about basic uh, terminologies and classification. Salivary glands, uh, all of us know, it secretes saliva and which keeps our oral cavity moist. And it has got uh, many functions uh, ranging from lubrication and also antibacterial uh, properties so all will be dealt in uh, later sessions so we'll start with few terminologies or its classification that is basically this glands so any glands are divided into endocrine or exocrine glands so endocrine glands uh, they are glands that secrete their products through the basal lamina it means it uh, is not having a deck system that is deck less glands it doesn't have a duct to secrete its secretion whereas the exocrine glands secrete their products through a duct the glands in this group can be further divided into merocrine apocrine and holocrine okay so that is a basic difference between endocrine which doesn't have any duct this is a duct glands they are further classified merocrine apocrine and holocrine so the first one merocrine glands they are also known as eccrine glands they secrete or their cells secrete the substance by exocytosis okay exocytosis a process known as exocytosis exocytosis uh, is a process by which the contents of a cell vacuole are released to the exterior through fusion of the vacuole membrane with the cell membrane so that is how this process is happening exocytosis so merocrine glands are our salivary glands that is serous and mucous salivary glands salivary glands okay the examples are salivary glands whereas the apocrine glands a portion of the secreting cells body is lost during secretion just a portion of the secreting cell body example is mammary glands and the holocrine glands the entire cell disintegrates to secrete its substance example is sebaceous glands they are classification of exocrine glands because it has dex this is the process how they secrete the content okay by exocytosis a portion of the cell uh, a lost or the entire cell disintegrates so that is how it differs merocrine apocrine and holocrine this is uh, salivary glands mammary glands and sebaceous glands and basically the salivary glands are compound tubulo acinar merocrine or exocrine glands where the ducts open into oral cavity and the oral cavity is kept moist by a film of fluid which is known as saliva which teeth uh, which coats basically the teeth and mucosa and saliva is a very complex fluid produced by the salivary glands now we have the classification of salivary glands now the introduction part is over now we are moving to the salivary glands classification the the basic classification that is a major and minor which is based on the size and location okay so the major salivary glands we have three pairs three pairs that is on the right and left side so the parotid gland submandibular gland and sublingual gland so uh, these glands are pairs uh, we can see on the right and left side and which is present on the outside the oral cavity and it has a uh, dex which secrete their products into the oral cavity or the mouth whereas the minor salivary glands they are uh, not bigger in size they are smaller we have labial minor salivary glands lingual palatal buccal glossopalatine and retromolar they are present in the submucosal layer and these glands opens onto the mucosal surface by short ductal openings that is a one classification and 
The another classification is based on the type of secretion that is serous secretion, mucus or mixed that is a combined serous and mucus. So serous secreting glands are parotid, von Ebner's gland, von Ebner's gland whereas the mucus secreting glands are glossopalatine, glossopalatine and glands of blantin and nun blantin and nun whereas the mixed glands they are submandibular and sublingual submandibular and sublingual glands So that is based on the secretion okay type of secretion so we learned about what is the classification in general endocrine and exocrine glands endocrine are dexless they are with dex and we have the basic classification major parotid submandibular and sublingual and minor classification then based on the type of secretion serous mucus and mixed and also ex exocrine gland is classified as merocrine apocrine and holocrine and liver and pancreas they are considered as both exocrine and endocrine they are exocrine glands because they secrete products that is bile and pancreatic juice okay liver secrete bile and pancreas secrete pancreatic juice okay into the gastrointestinal tract through a series of ducts so it is a exocrine gland and they are endocrine glands because they secrete other substance directly into bloodstream without any ducts so liver and pancreas considered as exocrine and endocrine glands